everyone welcome back to my channel and to another video so in today's video i thought i would share a recipe where i cook a whole chicken in my air fryer so actually in one of my first air fryer videos ever i did very quickly show myself making a whole chicken but I didn't share anything like the uh, measurements, ingredients, any of the marinades I'm using. So in this video, I thought I would show you exactly what I use to marinate it, how long I cook it for, etc, etc. So yeah, I just thought I would share this recipe with you all because it is super easy to cook a whole chicken in your air fryer. It comes out so crispy and delicious and it's just one of our favorites so let me turn the camera around and let's start by making the marinade so i'm going to make the marinade in this large mixing bowl just so you can see everything really well so the first ingredient i'm using is this this is a steak and chops marinade but you can use it on chicken as well and it is so so nice this one has a really nice flavor and I pick it up in my local Asian supermarket. If you can't find this, you can find something that's very similar to this, um, just a nice marinade that is for um, meats and chicken and things like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and put some in there. I would say that's around three tablespoons of the marinade. I'm also adding in one tablespoon of oil. Now I've got a half a teaspoon of paprika. Now I'm adding in half a teaspoon of all-purpose seasoning. Half a teaspoon of Cajun seasoning. Half a teaspoon of oregano. A small sprinkle of turmeric. I'm also going to add in a little bit of food colouring. Some black pepper. sprinkle of salt. I'm going to squeeze in half a lemon. And then I've got three cloves of garlic. I've got half a teaspoon of dried coriander. Half a teaspoon of chicken tikka seasoning. Now just mix everything together really well. And that is our marinade all ready. So let's go ahead and grab the chicken. So I have my chicken here, so now it's time to marinate. So I'm just going to use a brush to do this. It's just so much easier. Just grab that marinade and carefully brush it onto your chicken. So you want to be really nice and generous with this. We want the chicken to have lots and lots of flavor. So just cover the entire chicken um, and make sure it's covered really well. So once you have marinated the chicken really well, you just want to pop this into the fridge for a couple of hours if you can. It's even better if you do this overnight, the chicken will just have so much more flavor. I don't have much time today, so it's just going to be a case of an hour or two. So I'm just going to pop this into a Ziploc bag and then I'll come back. Okay, so my chicken is now in a Ziploc bag and I'm going to pop it straight into the fridge to marinate for a little while before I cook it. Now you can cook this alongside a roast potatoes if you want, some veggies, however you want to serve it. Um, I've actually got some leftover rice from yesterday so I'm just going to use the rest of that up and we're going to have it along with this chicken. So I will come back once I'm ready to pop it into the air fryer and then I'll show you how long I cook it for and if there's anything else to do with it. So I will see you then. 
so after a couple of hours of the chicken marinating in the fridge I took it out and put it straight into the air fryer breast side down and I cooked it on the roast option at 190 degrees celsius and I cooked for 30 minutes and then I actually came back um, when there was around 11 or 12 minutes left and just to give you a closer look this is how it was looking as you can see it was cooking beautifully so then I just carefully turned it over and I brushed over with some more of that marinade because I did have some left over and then I just popped it back into the air fryer to continue cooking for the remaining time once I came back and checked it, this is how the chicken was looking. The skin was turning really, really crispy. So I decided to pop this back in for a further 10 minutes because it wasn't fully cooked through. Make sure you use your thermometer. This time round, I chose the air fry option at 200 degrees for 10 minutes. In the meantime, I just set out all the food on a serving tray. And here is the chicken fresh out of the air fryer. It was cooked so beautifully as you can see the chicken is really well done. This is how I like it, it is not burnt. If you like it less crispy then just cook it for a little bit less. The skin was super crispy. And just to show you how well it had cooked I literally just tore off the chicken leg. It came away so easily, it was still steaming hot but I just wanted to give you a really closer look at how well it cooked. So I'm just going to break into it so you can see the inside of the chicken. It was really tender, still juicy inside and it was absolutely delicious and that's how easy it is to make your roast chicken in the air fryer.